<laughs> hey guys, how's it going? So, stretching canvas. First couple things you're going to need, you're going to need stretcher bars. Um, so they're in pairs, obviously. So these are 30 inches. These are 32 inches. Canvas, big roll of canvas right here. Um, tape measure. Good scissors. Bought these at that big box hardware store. I'm not going to mention the name, but same color. Their corporate colors are orange. Um, some kind of pliers, needle nose, these are the only ones I found, but just something in case the staple's going wrong, you can pull the staples out. And talk about staples, staple gun, staples. Think about a staple gun though, buy the heavy duty staple guns. Don't buy those cheap little uh, craft guns. Um, you really need something substantial to get that in there really well. Um, also, these right here, um, I'm not sure what they're called. I think they're called pliers or or something, but definitely buy the expensive one. Buy the one that's made out of metal and has like, I don't know if you can see this, there's like a little bit of a rubber inside to it. These are the best. I've tried different ones. The plastic ones, I broke like right away, so don't, don't use plastic. Uh, stick with the metal. Hammer. That's just to get the staples that don't go in all the way. And these right here, most important things ever, safety glasses. Um, if you don't have safety glasses, use sunglasses. You know, you can even use a prescription lenses. Just whatever, you need something to protect your eyes, especially for artists. I can cut my right hand off and I would still use my left hand. But if I lost an eye or both my eyes, you know, I can get glass eyes, but that's just for appearances. I can't see out of them. And so your eyesight is very important. So no fooling around guys, seriously, safety glasses, always, always, always. Um, people wear gloves, I don't, don't really care, but it's probably another suggestion you should do is wear gloves. First thing to notice, I don't know if you can see how they're, they're pre-cut, so that way you can slide them together. There we go. So you just kind of wiggle them in together and do all four corners like that. There's this little bitty corner. Tap, tap, tap. Just keep moving it. These are old stretcher bars. My friend Jamie Walker went to college with. He's another great artist. He had a whole bunch of these in his attic. And he's like, hey Mike, do you want a couple stretcher bars? Sure. So I went down to the Cape. <laughs> He loaded up the back of the car full of stretcher bars. So I have hundreds of them. So I won't be buying anytime soon. And just work your way around. So another little nifty trick, um, just to help you get um, the corners squared. All you need to do is find a door. It's snowing out. Oh. And what you do is you take it and you just jam it against the corner. And just go all the way around. And that helps you square it up a little bit more. And then the last bit we need to do is we have to make sure it's perfectly squared. So let's see what I got here. 47 and 7 eighths. And then this side I have 46 and a half. So that means I need to squish these two corners in a little bit. Let's check that again. 46 and a half. So I know this side's wrong now. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm going to squeeze this side in just a little bit. 46 5 eighths. And cross my fingers. 46 5 eighths. There it is. Now I have it squared. Next step after you have it squared, just tack in two little staples. Make sure everything lines up. Bam. 
go all the way around. Now the reason I'm stapling these is just so they don't start wobbling around and I don't want to go out of square. 